Mr. Vikramasinghe must reflect on how he came to becoming the president of this country. You have two more minutes. He must reflect on the struggle that at times turned violent. Yes, he calls it terrorism. He didn't call it terrorism when he was seated in these opposite benches. In fact, on the contrary, he repeatedly said that the people's struggle must be protected. Once before also, Honorable Presiding Member, I made a speech where I said, when a non-violent protest is done in the most non-violent and democratic way, and when the whole country makes the point that change is required, and when that change does not happen, when that change does not happen, at some point, frustration will creep in, and naturally, the people's protests democratically will change, and it will change to violence. Why? Because the very nature of the protest is to call back a mandate that they had given. And the whole world knows that the people have in fact called back that mandate. If they hadn't called back that mandate, and if this house did not believe that they had not called back that mandate, the former president Gotabe Rajapaksa need not have resigned. So the people have called back the mandate. They are asking that you have an election so that they can have a fresh mandate, so that they can have confidence in this house. But you choose not to do it. You choose not to do it. Instead, you manipulated the situation. The time is over, Honorable Minister. I'm winding up. I was told yes. that I have 14 minutes. Instead, 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 they manipulated the situation where today you have President Vikramasinghe rising up to the presidency. And then, and then for him to call the method by which you rose to that presidency as terrorism and violence, Honorable Presiding, Mem Honorable Presiding Member, is just not on. It is just not on. And the only reason he can say that, and the only reason he can say that is because he's still totally indebted to the members opposite.